My name is Misaki, and I'm a high school student. I live with my family of four, including my parents, who both work for a company, and my younger sister, Yoshino. Although my parents are busy with their jobs, they always take care of us. Hey, I got picked as a starter for the next game. What? Really? Congratulations, Yoshino. That's amazing. Yoshino, you've been working hard aiming to be a starter. Is the game on Sunday? I'd like to come and cheer for you. That would be nice. I definitely want to go and support her too. Me too. I can't miss seeing Yoshino in action. Thanks, everyone. I'd be so happy if you all came to support me. One evening after dinner, while enjoying some family time, Yoshino happily shared some news with us. She's in the sports club and had been aiming to become a regular, a dream that had just come true. Knowing how hard she had practiced on her own at home made us all feel as happy as if it were our own achievement. Our family joyfully promised to go and support her. Though ordinary, our family lived very harmoniously. One day, on my way home from school, I spotted Yoshino. Are you even listening to me? Could you please just stop coming to school? Why should I have to quit school? Obviously, you should. Having someone pool like you in class lowers my status as the daughter of a CEO. That's ridiculous. My family's situation has nothing to do with school. How dare you speak to me, a CEO's daughter, like that? Just because our backgrounds are different doesn't mean you can tell me to leave. That's unfair. A poor girl like you defying me. We're not poor. Parents who work at some company I've never heard of. Definitely poor. I thought Yoshino was heading home with a friend named Sayuri, but it turned out I was wrong, they were arguing. Yoshino was being unfairly criticized. I rushed over to intervene. Stop. Wait. Big sis. Oh, how rude to interrupt someone's conversation like that. That's true. But I'm Yoshino's sister. Did she do something to offend you? Oh, the sister of the poor girl. Birds of a feather, I guess. I was just telling Yoshino she shouldn't even bother coming to school. It's a nuisance having someone so poor in my class. Hmm, is that so? But, you know, our family's financial situation has nothing to do with whether she belongs in your class. If the sister is like this, no wonder the younger one is due. Daring to defy me. All right, all right, we're leaving now. Come on, Yoshino, let's go. Yeah, Big says. Wait, we're not done talking yet. Ignoring Sayuri's shouting, I took Yoshino, who looked downcast, back home. After we got home, I heard the full story. Sayuri comes from a wealthy corporate CEO family. She always acts superior and constantly mocks others for being poor, which really made me angry. But I told Yoshino that it's best to ignore her, as engaging would only play into her hands. Years later, Yoshino got a job offer. Congratulations, Yoshino. It's great that you got a job at the company you wanted. You worked so hard during your job search. I'm relieved now. Thanks, Dad and Mom. Congratulations on your job offer, Yoshino. Now you're officially a working adult. Yes, I have to repay Dad and Mom for everything now. Ah, uh, and you too, Big Sis, of course. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, why don't we all go out to eat to celebrate? A dinner party to celebrate Yoshino's job offer. That's a great idea. I was thinking we needed to celebrate. All right, it's decided then. I'll make a reservation at a fancy restaurant. Yay. A fancy restaurant. I'm so excited. I told my parents and Yoshino that I would let them know once the reservation was confirmed, and then I headed home. Luckily, I managed to secure a reservation at the upscale restaurant and bought a gift for Yoshino, looking forward to the celebration. On the day of the celebratory meal, as we all entered the restaurant, Hello, I have a reservation under Misaki. Thank you for having us today. Welcome. Wait, is that Yoshino? Why would someone like you come to a restaurant like this? Uh, Sayuri, is that you? What's going on, Yoshino? Sayuri, isn't that the CEO's daughter? Now that you mention it, that rude tone does sound familiar. Yes, that's Sayuri, the CEO's daughter. But why is she here? I'm working here thanks to my dad's connections. It's refreshing being around so many important and famous people I fit right in with this glamorous world. Such a confident young lady. To think she was an acquaintance of Yoshino. Well, you find all sorts of things happening. Sayuri was it. Today we're celebrating Yoshino's new job. Could you show us to our table? Uh, there's no table available for a Pua family like yours. But we made a reservation. Think about your situation before you speak. 
This is an extremely upscale restaurant, a place frequented by VIPs and prominent figures from all walks of life. There's no way you belong here. Huh? But my sister made the reservation, so there should be a table for us. Sure, I get you want to make excuses, but let's stick to the facts. Come on, don't just stand there, go back home. Don't get ahead of yourselves trying to dine at a fancy restaurant when you're poor. Wow. Sayuri, are you still saying things like that? If you really want to celebrate, why not go to a pub near your home? That would suit you a hundred times better. And stop trying to dress up it doesn't suit you. What a thing to say. The noise from Sayuri's loud voice caused a stir, and the restaurant manager emerged from the back of the establishment. He immediately apologized, but the mood was already ruined, and we decided to cancel our reservation and leave. My parents, Yoshino, and I were all angered by Sayuri's behavior and words. We devised a plan and decided to revisit the restaurant a few days later. Isn't this the restaurant from last time? What if Sayuri is here and says something again? It's okay because you've worked hard, attended college, and secured a job on your own. You have every right to be congratulated by everyone. But is it really okay? What if Sayuri says something again? It's fine. I'll protect you if anything happens. And Daiki will too, right, Daiki? Of course. She's my beloved wife's sister, after all. Plus, we all want to celebrate Yoshino's new job. Right, Dad? Absolutely, it's only natural to celebrate Yoshino's new job. Besides, Daiki and I have another reason for being here today. Another reason? Yes, it's a very important matter for Daiki and me. If anyone starts anything, just steer the conversation our way and we'll handle it. After that's settled, we'll celebrate your new job to the fullest, Yoshino. All right, shall we go inside? Yes, let's. I visited the restaurant with Yoshino, my husband Daiki, and my father-in-law. Yoshino purely thinks that we are there to celebrate his new job. Of course, Yoshino's job celebration is the main event, but before that, there is something we need to do. As we entered the restaurant. Welcome, oh, it's you again. Sayuri-san. Look, how many times do I have to tell you? This isn't a place for you to come to repeatedly. Did you forget this is a high-end restaurant? This is why poor people are such a bother. Well, we're here for the meal, but we also have other business. What? Are you out of your mind? This is a restaurant. What other purpose could you have here besides eating? We're here for you. Have me? Yes, you. What business could you possibly have with me? Wait, who are you people? As we entered the restaurant, Sayuri once again started berating Yoshino. Yoshino was intimidated, but Daiki stepped forward to shield him. It seemed Sayuri intended to belittle Daiki as well. She was about to sneer, but seeing Daiki and my father-in-law, she was visibly shaken. Noticing her reaction, my father-in-law. Oh, what is you looking so surprised at me? No, it's just, I apologize. I was just shocked to see Daiki, the restaurant owner, and you, the president here all of a sudden. I see. It's good that you recognize your employers, Daiki and myself, as an employee. Yes, of course. I'm well aware of who the president and owner are. However, as an employee, I expect you to remain composed at all times. That's right. And it's unacceptable to change your attitude depending on the customer. What do you mean by that? Do you think I'm unaware of what goes on? I don't understand what you mean. What are you talking about? Well, if you say you don't know, let me enlighten you. My wife made a reservation and visited here recently, only to be unfairly turned away, and I heard it was you who treated her so poorly. What? I would never do such a thing to Mrs. Daiki. Is that so? Are you suggesting then that she lied? Misaki, come here. What? You are Yoshino's sister. So, you knew after all. Lying to me, the owner, is quite bold of you. Perhaps I haven't introduced her yet. This is my wife, Misaki. Good evening, Sayuri. It's not really our first meeting, is it? As I stood behind my father-in-law and Daiki, I moved to stand beside Daiki while responding. I had no idea that Yoshino's sister was Daiki's wife. Daiki had secured a reservation that day. I never imagined being turned away with the same harsh words as before. I couldn't believe there was an employee at Daiki's restaurant who would say such terrible things. I talked to Daiki about it when we got home, right, Daiki? Yes. It was to celebrate Yoshino's new job, and I wanted you all to enjoy the best food. But to think we couldn't even enter the restaurant was surprising, right, Dad? Yes, I was shocked too since I agreed with Daiki. 
I had planned to give Yoshino a special gift from myself too. Then to hear later that you weren't even allowed in the restaurant. Um, that's because. I would like a satisfactory explanation for why Misaki and her party were turned away. It's because this is an upscale restaurant. What? This restaurant is only for a select group of people. If it gets out that someone pua dine here, it would lower the restaurant's standards. Misaki might be wealthy since she's the owner's wife, Daiki. But her sister Yoshino is different. Sayuri, how could you say such a thing? But it's true, isn't it? Yoshino has always been that way. Her parents work at some no-name company, yet she dares to dine at an upscale restaurant without knowing her place. Unbelievable. Sayuri, that's too much. What are you implying? That everyone who doesn't work for a big corporation is less than ordinary? Or if you resent anything, resent being born into such a family. Enough already. Realizing she couldn't outmaneuver Daiki or the father-in-law, Sayuri directed her anger towards Yoshino instead. Overwhelmed by her harsh words, Yoshino and I couldn't respond. That's when Daiki stepped forward again to defend us and sternly addressed Sayuri. I don't know what's between you and Yoshino, but your customer service is unacceptable for this establishment. Do you realize how many customers you've upset? We can't employ someone like you. What? I was just thinking of what's best for the restaurant. That's right, Sayuri, was it? I've heard your side. Exactly. I was just trying to drive away people who obviously couldn't afford to be here for the restaurant's sake. I'm contributing to the restaurant as an employee. I see. Then let me say this. Yes, of course. If I use your own words, having an employee like you would degrade the restaurant standards. I agree with Daiki. You're fired. No, I've done nothing wrong. If you don't understand, that makes it even more clear. Someone like you doesn't fit our restaurant standards. You are fired. Effective today. Exactly. It's rude to judge people as poor. I was looking forward to eating a full course of fine dining here. Wait, I used my dad's connections to get into this restaurant. If he finds out I was fired just like that, he'll be furious. That's not my problem. Perhaps you should ask your well-connected father to take care of you again. I've been told if I mess up again, I'll be disowned. Oh, that's tough. But maybe it's a good chance to realize you've just been protected by your parents and their money. It's time for you to live on your own efforts like Yoshino. Grow up and be independent. I can't. A regular company isn't suitable for me. It doesn't pay enough. It's sad that you can only see value in money and status. Yoshino. You should convince Daiki and the others to. Why should I? I thought I was just a poor person. Surely, I don't have such power. The father and I will go report the firing to the manager. Yes, let's do that. Misaki Yoshino, once this is settled, let's properly celebrate your new job. Thank you so much. Today, Yoshino, you can request anything you want to eat. Yay, I'm so excited. Wait a minute. Hey. Left alone, Sayuri hastily apologized, but it was too late. While discussing what to eat, Yoshino and I headed to the parking lot. The father-in-law and Daiki went into the back of the restaurant. Later that day, we all enjoyed a pleasant meal together. I later heard from Daiki that Sayuri was immediately dismissed that day. There had been other complaints from customers about her arrogant service, and the manager had repeatedly warned her without effect. As Sayuri had mentioned, her father eventually disowned her after hearing about her dismissal. It seemed she had relied entirely on her status as the daughter of a company president and left everything to others. Now, she was left to fend for herself, not knowing how to look for a job on her own, without any personal skills or contacts, and sometimes even being refused interviews, she was left wandering the streets alone. Meanwhile, for us. Yoshino, congratulations again on your job. This is a gift to celebrate your employment. Thank you. Wow, a bag. I chose something simple and lightweight that you can use for commuting. I'm thrilled. I'll take good care of it. And here's something for me. Congratulations on your job. Thank you. Wow, what a stylish watch. You could use your smartphone, but there are times you can't pull it out or carry it around. This will definitely be useful. Yes. I'll cherish this too. Yoshino, I'm so glad for you. Now that your job is secure, I feel relieved too. Thanks, sis. I'll do my best. Today. I invited the father-in-law and Yoshino to our home for a dinner party. The father-in-law presented Yoshino with a commuting bag he had chosen himself as a gift to celebrate her employment. Daiki and I had picked out a watch together. 
I had already given my gifts at a celebration dinner with our parents. Yoshino's face lit up with a sparkling smile, full of excitement about her new life. Seeing Yoshino so happy made me resolve to do my best as well. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.